10 things every top influencer possesses. What are they? So number one is predictable. And you'll have to excuse my writing. It's pretty horrible here. Consistency. Okay. Every top influencer out there has predictable consistency. Now, what does that mean? It means that, you know, if you're, for example, you know, I go live every single day and, you know, that's consistency and it's predictable because, you know, if you have been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I go live around, you know, eight, nine o'clock every single day on, on, on the groups on Facebook and, you know, you can, yeah, it's dedication. Thanks, Sh Shelly, for joining. Um, yeah, it's dedication, you know, consistency, and it's one of the keys um, to becoming successful, right? So what's the number two thing that uh, every top influencer possesses? A definite sense of purpose, okay? Definite sense of purpose. Now, why is this so important? Because if you are going to you know, accomplish anything, you need to have a definite sense of purpose. And that's you know the same thing as your why. So why are you doing what you're doing? Um, and if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you need to you know, step back and reconsider, um, dig a little deeper and figure that out. And if you need some help um, figuring out what your why is, uh, you can, you know, message me. I, I did a video a couple weeks ago about finding your why. So that would, uh, you know, help you get to that core why of why you're doing what you're doing. So definite sense of purpose. Okay, number three is a strong and growing knowledge base. Strong, growing knowledge base okay and this is extremely important because every top influencer out there is consistently growing their knowledge base right they are you know going out and learning new things every single day and that's extremely important to becoming successful and you know becoming an influencer because, you know, if you're going out there and you're dedicating, let's say, an hour and a half, two hours of every single day to learning new things, you will find that, you know, it'll be compounded over time. So you'll get to the point where you'll have taken on so much knowledge that you'll be able to start, you know, doing live videos like I'm doing, teaching people that knowledge. And that's where the power comes, right? You gain enough, you can you know, take action on it, you can teach other people, and you become very valuable to your audience, right? So grow that knowledge base. Number four, masterful communication. Now, why is this so important? Because if you can communicate with people in a clear and concise manner, um, you can, you know, you can convey your knowledge base to them, and you create that that personal connection with them, right? So it's extremely important to be able to communicate with people and, you know, captivate people. Um, if I came on these lives and I was like, "Hey guys, what's going on?" It's uh, Anthony Saltarelli again, and uh, I've got some things I need to share with you. Um, you know, you can see the difference there, right? I'm not engaged with you. I'm not, you know, communicating con clearly and concisely, and nobody would nobody would pay any attention. Nobody would hop on. Nobody would want to want to you know listen to somebody like that. So it's very important to be a masterful communicator. Okay. Now, number five, 
Number five is pretty important. Um, incredible. Rapport. Builders. Okay. Now, what is rapport? Rapport, I actually printed out the definition, and rapport is a close and harmonious relationship in which the people or groups concerned understand each other's feelings or ideas and communicate well. So, you know, rapport is building up that relationship with people, you know, showing them what you have to offer, gaining their trust, and that's where, you know, you create those lifelong relationships with people and they begin to know and understand you, trust you, and they'll want to follow you. And, you know, eventually they may decide that they want to, you know, jump on board with you, uh, whatever opportunity you have. So it's extremely important to be a incredible rapport builder, right? Get that down. Um, you know, if you don't know how to build rapport, I would definitely suggest, you know, researching it and figuring out how to make that connection with people. Because if you're online, you're trying to make money. If you're trying to brand yourself, it's extremely important to be a rapport builder. Okay. So number six. Number six is a, another really good one. Um, Maniacal work ethic, okay? A maniacal work ethic. Now, what is maniacal? You're probably like, what is maniacal? I've never heard that before. Well, I printed out the definition to that too. It's uh, exhibiting extremely wild or violent behavior. Now, you know, an extremely wild work ethic I think that you'd probably agree that a lot of the top influencers out there have a maniacal work ethic. You know, they, they go wild um, to create success for themselves. You know, their work is, um, you know, everything to them. So they dedicate themselves to creating success. They dedicate themselves to their team um, and, you know, they dedicate themselves to making this world a better place. So it's important to have, yeah, show up, always show up and work on your business. That's exactly right, Shelly. You always have to show up every day and, you know, put in the time, put in the effort to working on your business. So a maniacal work ethic. Okay. Um, number seven. I'm starting to run out of space here, aren't I? Number seven, a go giver spirit. Okay. Now, what does that mean? A go giver spirit. So that's where, you know, you will go out and you will give value to other people without expecting something in return. Okay. Now, this is where a lot of people you know, get it wrong when they're trying to make a business for themselves online. They, they just automatically expect people to, you know, trust them, to buy from them, and they don't give any value to their audience, right? And it's extremely important to be giving that value, you know, to your target audience so that they will, you know, build, so that you can build rapport with them, right? So, you know, a go-giver spirit, and when you give value, you shouldn't expect something in return, right? You're just out there, you're giving value just for the sake of giving value to help other people succeed in their business, right? Um, you know, what being an entrepreneur is all about is figuring out a problem that somebody in the world is having and, you know, coming up with a solution for that problem. So, you know, that's, that's really what it's all about. And if you, if you come up with the solution for that problem, people will pay you for that solution, whatever it may be, right? So if you look at all the big businesses out there, um, 
you know, Apple computers, uh, Amazon, um, you know, you name it, they all found a problem that people were having and they came up with a solution for that problem. So, you know, when you're looking at business online, if you find something that is not a solution to a problem that somebody is having, um, you know, I'd, su I'd suggest that you take a second look at that, um, reconsider uh, getting involved because, you know, if it's not providing a solution uh, to a problem that somebody's having, uh, chances are either it's, you know, possibly a scam, um, it's not going to last very long. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I want to be involved with companies that are going to be around for a long time, right? So a go-giver spirit. So what is number eight? Number eight. You know what? I think I'm going to erase this and start from the top. So hopefully you guys uh, can get that down real quick. Just jot it down, take a little screenshot, whatever you got to do, because it's going to be erased here in about five seconds. All right, five seconds. Here it goes. All right. All right, number eight, unshakable focus. We'll start from the top. Um, hopefully I'm spelling correctly. Okay, unshakable focus. Now, why is this so important? Well, if you look at a lot of people, um, at least from what I've seen so far, a lot of people, you know, they will start something, but they will not, not finish it, right? Uh, they'll get all excited, all hyped up about this great opportunity, you know, this great program, and then three weeks down the road, you look around, and you're like, hmm, where'd that guy go? Where'd that lady go? You're nowhere to be found. And that's because they don't have an unshakable focus. You know, they don't have a maniacal work ethic. You know, they, they're, they don't have a goal. And so, you know, they, they get all hyped up about something. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, the hype ball, you know, dies down and they go on to the next thing that they're all hyped up about. So it's extremely important to have unshakable focus. When you jump into something, you're focused on that and you don't give up until you make it work, right? So unshakable focus, another one of the 10 things that every top influencer possesses. So what's number nine? Number nine is a crystal clear vision. Okay, and this is another extremely important step here, right? Crystal clear vision. If you don't have a vision for where you're going with your business, you're going to be a, you know, you're going to be easily distracted, number one. Um, you know, like the people that don't have unshakable focus, but you also need to have a clear vision because, you know, like I said, you're going to be distracted. Um, if you hit a hurdle in your business, um, if you don't have a vision of where you're going and how to get there, uh, chances are, you know, you may peter out and decide that this isn't for you and go do something else that's a little bit easier. You know, you may go back to your nine to five, um, where somebody else is telling you what to do. So, you know, nine to five, if you think about it, guys, is really, you know, pretty simple, right? You don't have to put a whole lot of, you know, you're not, you're accountable to somebody else, right? If you're working for yourself online, you're accountable to yourself, right? And a lot of people, they don't have the, you know, the unshakable focus, they don't have the vision, um, they don't have the maniacal work, work ethic, and that's why a lot of people don't succeed succeed online, right? So extremely important to have a crystal clear vision. If you don't have one, I'd encourage you to sit down and you know grab a sheet of paper and write out uh, your crystal, you know, your vision of where you want to go with your business. Um, you know, put it up on the wall in front of where you work and look at it every day. Hey, Jenny, thanks for hopping on. Um, yeah, look at it every day, you know, put it up on your vision board and, you know, just let it be up there as a reminder of where you're going. Okay. 
So number nine, crystal clear vision. So what is number 10? Now this is, this is gonna be key, guys. So pay attention. Number 10. Mentored by great influencers, okay? Now, if you wanna become a great influencer in your space, it's important to go out and be mentored, you know, seek out somebody who's already a great influencer and follow what they're doing, you know, try to create a relationship with them, try to build, you know, rapport with them so that, you know, you can learn from what they're doing because a lot of people out there, you know, they started out learning from somebody else who was in the position that they wanted to be. So you look at all of these, you know, great people out there and, you know, they didn't start out that way, right? They had to, you know, go out and learn everything themselves. So it's, you know, a key part of the puzzle is, you know, being mentored by a great influencer, going out there, you know, and finding somebody that has what you want and, you know, religiously following what they're teaching. So, you know, that's the, the 10 steps, the 10 things that every top influencer possesses, you know, what they're doing in their lives and their business to succeed. Um, so I hope that this has kind of, you know, helped you guys uh, gain a little bit more of a understanding into what, you know, all of these people that are way up here, you know, where you want to be, what it took for them to get to that point, right? Because, you know, it's not just one of these things where you hop on and, you know, you type out a, a few messages on Facebook, you put up an inspirational post and, you know, you wake up the next morning and you're a millionaire. It doesn't quite work that way, guys. So it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and, you know, it takes a maniacal work ethic. That's my new favorite word, maniacal. So hope that uh, this has helped you guys.